who was your coworker from hell. She was a lady in her 50s. We worked at a doctor's office. Nothing was ever her fault, she could not take even the nicest constructive criticism and constantly complained about everything. One of my nicest co-workers ever, who was around the same age so not an ageism thing, often was the recipient of her blame, and because she never took responsibility, it was regularly the same issue she never learned to correct. They bickered a lot after a couple years of this. One day the nice coworker went to the car to grab her anxiety med and the obnoxious one went to the office manager and then hours saying she thought the nice one went to get a weapon to hurt her. Like what? She didn't even own a weapon. And the nice one got fired. I was absolutely shocked. Any lingering respect I had for her was gone. I've had a lot of jobs and met some shitty people but she was the most stressful nightmare who could boohoo her way into getting pity parties on cue. We had a sysadmin who would come to work and run his real estate business from his desk while he was supposed to be working. The whole time coughing and sneezing and sniffling constantly. We called him, Itchy. He would also call friends and family and have hours long conversations with them while we all had to listen. He picked up the nickname, Thanksgiving Dinner Guy, for using the break room, full kitchen, to cook entire meals that wouldn't be out of place at a family gathering. One of the offices in another wing had a sheet by the door for people to log when they saw him and what he was cooking that day. He didn't like any of us, the feeling was mutual, and left books like, jerks at work, on his desk. When he finally got fired, they found out he never did any of his sysadmin work. No backups, no password changes, no log monitoring. She almost got me fired because she wanted to find the weakest looking guy to be her little errand boy. When I told her politely to go screw herself, she told ours that I had been taking work out of her queue in the system. It wasn't a very good lie though, because why would I want to do more work than I have to? I even said this to ours in the disciplinary meeting. I had a 50 year old colleague who would message women on sugar baby apps and rub one out over his trousers. Saw him blow his load in the open office. He sat next to me. Kept on happening. Reported it. He said he had a genital rash, but admitted to messaging people on social media. I got in trouble for my accusations. Fast forward 8 months. He's sitting opposite me now. He starts rubbing one out in the open office again. I recorded him. Showed my manager. And he was finally fired. He was a cunt too. Had an assistant who plotted to get me fired and take my job. Some of my workers let me know because he tried to get them on board with him. Eventually, due to politics I was demoted but asked to be put on the shift relieving him. We would work 12 hour shifts on weekends. After being relieved by phone a couple of times against the rules, I intentionally came in 4 hours early and he was nowhere on site. I still got a call from him when he should have relieved me like he was still on site. I'll let the guards know and they videotaped him and I got him fired. An MMA fighter with serious PTSD, although it sounds like he was crazy and mean before he went to war. I have brownish skin and he would threaten to kill me multiple times a day at work. Once he put me in a sleeper hold just to put me down for fun and two other guys had to get him off. Guy was laughing maniacally the whole time. Sometimes he would hit me around the waistline when no one was looking so no one could see the bruises. Threatened to kill me and my family members if I ever reported it. Our supervisor was an ex-army ranger whom I deeply respected. But he defended this guy through it all and I never understood that. Finally the guy got fired after 2 years and ended up in jail for a while but those were 2 terrible years. Had a co-worker who always gossiped about others and would say horrible things about everyone in the office. It created a super toxic culture and caused many people to leave, not because they didn't like the work, they just hated the culture. He told the general manager that he might be a bit late for a shift due to his second job. When the GM reluctantly said okay, he apparently took this as thinking he had free reign to come and go as he pleased. He'd show up anywhere from 7.30 to 8.30 for his 7 o'clock shift. Then when the doors closed he'd insist he had to head out and he had an early morning the following morning, 
leaving everyone else to do the closing work. He also had other issues like being rude to customers and other employees. People mostly kept quiet until one day a higher level manager had to sub on night shift. When he went to leave early and the rest of us with the work, the manager flipped, if you lay a fucking finger on that money before this work is completely done, don't bother coming back. The guy insisted he had permission and left anyway. When our GM returned and he tried to come back, our manager said, you warned me you were going to be late one time and I never once gave you permission to otherwise start late or leave early. Clean out your locker now. My old boss could be really good, but here are some of the things leading up to her getting fired. She would berate people into taking her random vitamins. She would insist that we all attend her hot yoga class. She would get people to do it by putting them on the clock. She would pinch your arm if she didn't like what you were saying to a customer. I had to share a room with her at a conference. She slept naked. She got so drunk she went to hang out with a random couple in their room. Came back and puked all over our room. She would climb ladders in front of customers while wearing tiny dresses. And on and on and on. The 50 something turd that was the owner's son. Spoiled brat reminded me constantly who he was if I stood up to him. Creepy as hell too, could never just tell any of the women they looked nice, actually told me one day that my legs looked nice. I was wearing a skirt. That was the last time I wore a skirt to work for a long time. I immediately started looking for a new job within a month. There were so many other things that occurred I was turned off from working for a small family owned business since. I work with a woman who is threatened by other women, especially if they are younger and have more education than her. She consistently tries to discourage women from furthering their education and constantly tries to get women she is threatened by fired. She is a goddamn nightmare. This woman who was one of those people who always had to one up you. Like if you cut your thumb off, she was just recently sawed in half. She was constantly complaining and miserable and it was so draining. I worked shifts. Can't go home unless I pass over my reports to the next person face to face. One particular bitch loves coming in late. Not 5 or 10 minutes late, I'm talking 25 to 30 minutes late. Best part, she loves bitching about how everyone is always on her ass for coming in late. She literally lives 5 minutes walk away from work, so no one knows why she's always late. He was in his 50s, had often uncontrolled diabetes, was 6 feet 4, tall. I was 24, and a foot shorter. Normally he was a teddy bear, but when his blood sugar got low he would get violent. He tried throwing punches at me for suggesting he get a coke from the vending machine in the hall, good thing he's slow and clumsy in that state. When we were in the truck together once, and it started making a weird sound, I wanted to take it into the shop and he insisted we didn't need to buy yelling at me and pounding his fists on the dash, but we were going to a remote area and I didn't want to have to try and find help if the truck broke down and the radio didn't work. I had to call search and rescue on him once because he didn't come back to the truck after doing a transect biology job. You guessed it, he had low blood sugar and was not able to find his way back to the truck. He had no education or experience in biology, but he just couldn't be fired from his job driving a plow. With his propensity to let himself get hypoglycemic, he couldn't drive either. So they shuffled him to the wildlife department because he had an interest in wildlife. I was basically his babysitter. I used to work part time at a shipping warehouse, and at one point, we ended up hiring this 16 year old kid. He made a ton of mistakes that we ended up having to fix for him, but I gave him the benefit of the doubt at first, just because he was new. But not only did he never learn from his fuck ups, but he was incredibly lazy and lacked any self awareness. There were instances where he was given a task, but then he'd either dick around on his phone most of the time, hide out in the bathroom for like 45 minutes, and then hope we wouldn't notice, or just whine to my supervisor that he didn't want to do whatever he was assigned. Because of that, he would often take half the day to do like 30 minutes of work, and would then complain that he had too much work piled on top of him. It was ridiculous. 
He lasted maybe a month before my supervisor let him go. I briefly had a co-worker at my current job at a local grocery store. We'll just call him, Fred. Fred is one of those people who's always talking on his phone in the break room and that's my personal pet peeve at work. More often than not, he's usually arguing with his girlfriend and he doesn't seem to care that anyone's listening. He'd do other annoying, gross things like chewing with his mouth wide open and wiping his budgies all over the place, but then there was one day when he tried to flush a hot pocket down the toilet. Needless to say that it didn't play out so well, and that temporarily put an end to our closest employee restroom right by the break room. He surprisingly didn't get fired over that, but he did get fired when one of his old high school teachers came in shopping, and he threw a whole sack of potatoes at her. She was an elderly woman who got seriously injured, and both the ambulance and the cops had to get involved. I never did hear about what happened to his old teacher, but Fred on the other hand is currently in jail for not only assaulting his teacher, but he apparently also attacked his lawyer for reasons uncown. That's Fred. I quit smoking due to a cow walker that would follow me to every smoke break to talk about their problems when I needed some goddamn me time. It's been 3 years, and I still haven't bothered to pick the habit back up. Thanks for watching and share your stories. Don't forget to consider the idea to maybe think about potentially subscribing. Peace.